This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create your own custom brushes using Affinity Designer. So to get us started, I've created a new document, as you can see here on the page. And the first thing I want to do is create some kind of object or drawing that I can use as a brush. Now you can do this any variety of ways. You can use the pen tool or the, one of these shape tools down here to create some kind of random object. Or maybe you already have an object that you'd like to use as your brush. For this demonstration, I'm going to actually draw some random scribble using the pixel persona. So let's come over here to the pixel persona. I'm going to click this little checkerboard icon to add a new pixel layer. And I'm going to grab the paintbrush, which is over here. And I'm just going to draw some kind of random scribble like this. And then I'm going to grab the eraser and just erase out some of that like that. And what I want to do is take this and use this as a brush. So in order to do that, we first have to export this as a PNG image. So to do that, let's come over here to the export persona. I'm going to click on the layers tab over here. And I want to select this layer with our scribble on it. And I want to click on create slice. Okay, so now we'll come back over here to the slices tab. And I'll expand this drop down where it says slice one. I want to make sure I have PNG selected from this drop down. I want to make sure this is at 1x. And then I want to click this little white icon right here that says click to, click to export this size. And I'm just going to save this as scribble. Click save. And now that is exported as a PNG image. So what we can do now is come back over to the designer persona. We can go ahead and get rid of this layer now. We don't need that scribble anymore. Let's come over here to the vector brush tool, which is right here, where you can press B on the keyboard. And then we'll click on the brushes tab. Okay, now if you notice, we have a, a list of brushes here. And these brushes go by category. If you, if you choose this drop down over here, you can choose all of these different categories of brushes. And if you want, you can create your own category by clicking on this menu up here that says create new category. I'm going to do that. Create a new category. And by default, it'll be titled brushes. So I'll come back over here to the menu and click on rename category. And I'm going to name this to custom brushes and click OK. And this will be the category where I place all of my custom brushes that I create. OK, so now in order to add the exported PNG image as a brush, I'm going to click on this menu over here and click on New Textured Image Brush. And I'm going to choose that PNG image, that scribble.png. And as you can see, it has listed that image as a brush there. Now, if I select that and grab the, uh, the Vector Brush tool and come up here, make sure you have in this tool setting, you want to make sure you have stabilizer enabled. And you can use the left and right bracket keys to increase and decrease the, uh, the size of the brush stroke. I'm going to make this a little smaller like that. And I'm just going to click and drag to create a brush stroke from that PNG image that I just exported. OK, now if you want to alter this a little bit, you can double click on this, this uh, brush right here. And then you can change things like the size. You can change things like the variance, which will give it a fine tip as it goes on. You can change things like the opacity. And then over here, you can change the starting and the end point of the brush. So in, in order for me to show you how this works, I have to have the brush stroke selected. So let me close out of that. Let me grab the Select tool. And let me select that brush. And let me double click this menu again. And if you notice, I can change the brush width over here, make that bigger or smaller. The variance changes the uh, the uh, the end of the stroke. If you notice, nothing's changing on the canvas. But if you look over here in this menu, as I increase that, it's taking the end of that brush stroke and bringing it to a fine tip. And the opacity works the same way. The, the opacity makes that fine tip more opaque or more transparent, as you can see there if I increase it. Now, nothing's changing on the canvas because there's one more setting I have to change here. OK, I'll show you that in just a second. All right, now over here where it says body, we have stretch and we have repeat. If I click on repeat and bring down the size a little bit, you'll notice it just took that PNG image, that image and repeated it along the path there. Okay, now if I choose stretch, it's taking it once and stretching it out along that path. Okay, and these two red lines over here, you can use these red lines to determine where the start and end point of this brush is. So if I want to bring this over here, this is the start point, it'll only use this portion of the image as the brush. And I can do the same thing over here on this left side. I could take this and bring this in. And it'll only use it'll only use the space between these two red lines as the brush stroke. OK, so let me go ahead and close out of that. Let's go back to um, making this a fine tip, as I demonstrated over here in this preview. With the Select tool, make sure you have your brush, your brush stroke selected. And click on this Size setting over here. And come over here to where it says Pressure. And we have these two nodes up here. 
you can bring down the left note over here and it'll make the beginning of the uh, brush stroke collapsed as you see there. And I could take this one and bring this down. Make sure you have just one of them selected. Bring this down to do the same thing on this side. Okay, so now I'm gonna press escape to get out of this. One final thing I want to address is adding color to this thing. Now, unfortunately, the way brushes work in, in Affinity Designer is once you've created a textured image brush, you can't really change the color of it using the color menu over here. Now, normally, if you come over here to the color menu, you would think that if you change the color stroke or the stroke color, that you can change the color of this brush stroke, but that's not how it works. Whatever color the brush stroke is when you export it as a PNG image is the color you will have to work with with that brush stroke. But there is a workaround for that. So let me show you this workaround. What you can do is come over here to where it says layer and go to new adjustment. And from new adjustment, we are looking for recolor. And from this recolor menu, bring the lightness up. And now you can change the color of your brush stroke using this adjustment layer, as you see here. Okay, so let me close out of that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over here. Let me come back over here to the brushes menu. Let's say you don't like this brush and you wanna get rid of it because it's taking up space and your brushes menu is becoming too cluttered with brushes you don't want anymore. What you can do is you can just right click that and go to uh, delete brush. Uh, are you sure you wanna delete scribble brush? Yes, okay. Now let's say you wanna delete this entire category called custom brushes. You can come up here, click on the menu, delete category. Are you sure you wanna delete the category? Yep. And there you go. And that should do it for this lesson. That is how you can go about creating your own custom brushes using Affinity Designer. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.